Have you already shed your blood in the struggle against sin? My dear friends, do not forget the comforting words that the wisdom addresses to you as children. My son, pay attention when the Lord corrects you and do not be discouraged when he punishes you. For the Lord corrects those who loves and chases everyone he accepts as sons. So if you, if you are chosen, you are chosen with a reason. So punishment is not self-projection. You know, when it comes to people or parents or teachers, they punish out of anger. So they are provoked with what children has done and they so what children have done and they, they react. Well, in God's hand, punishment is completely different. It's correction, it's molding. So he chooses you, chooses you, and he molds you to get you to the proper point. My dear friends, think about this watermelon. The amount of pain that is going through, it's terrible. You know, what is in his hand, whom he considers as children, is a difference. So he, he uses sin to get to the proper point of his the goal. You have a purpose. But then to get to the proper purpose, see the agony this fruit has to go through. But then if, if you are stubborn, if you are not ready to be punished, to be corrected, You'll, be, you'll remain there without going to the proper purpose. God will never pursue, persuade his way, bulldoze his way, never. So what happened in today? What might happen in Jesus' situation? Where they were so stubborn. He came to, the own, to his own country, Nazareth, and they knew his background. And they, when he was preaching in synagogue, they were astonished, but some were stubborn. They were not ready to be molded, corrected. The prophet, he spoke the prophetic word. It was challenged. They, it challenged them. So no, they never want to re listen to that. So they said, he's, he's Mary's son and his father is a carpenter. So they, they were not ready to listen. So they took offense at him. This is exactly what happened when you are not ready to be molded. But then he has to mold you. He has to mold you and correct you. Correct you and form you to get to the proper purpose. No, it's terrible. See the agony. See the agony it has to go through. But here lies the meaning. Exactly here lies the meaning. This is how he corrects you. When you are in his hand, there's a meaning. As a son, as a father, he will definitely punish you. It causes pain. The word says, never be discouraged. When Kahani said, never, never lose heart. What you endure is in order to correct you. God treats you like sons. And what son is not corrected by his father? All correction is painful at the moment. Rather than pleasant, later it brings the fruit of peace. That is holiness to those who have been trained by it. So the Lord says, be, be encouraged. Be strong. Don't lose heart when you, when you go through pain. He has to, he has to do this in your life. To get to the proper point. He has to do this. My dear friends, the Lord is saying, Lift up then your dropping hands and strengthen your trembling knees. 
make level the ways for your feet so that the lame may not be disabled but healed so don't go into crooked paths shortcuts no wait upon the lord he will get you to the proper you will get the cream out of you that's the journey that the lord is speaking today so never never lose heart my dear friends so when you go through pain you come to the level real level the real meaning of your life he has to make you tasty get the proper meaning of your life there lies the true happiness you have to go through pain if you want to come to the proper meaning of your life so allow lord to use you allow the lord to take you to that difficult path path never lose heart be happy when god allows pain in your life don't be stubborn hearted like mary ben massa be patient be humble surrender your life in all the circumstances to his hand he loves you more than you do yourself so he knows the best for you so let him treat you as a son and a daughter because he is your loving father abba think about it and have a nice day may god bless you